So when we're asked to predict the bond angles based on the Lewis structure of a small organic molecule, uh, well, the Lewis structure has been drawn for us, so that is great. Um, so what we're going to have to do is look at each of those central atoms in turn and determine what their steric number is, therefore what the electron group geometry is, and therefore what the ideal bond angle is. So let's take angle A first of all. Angle A is this carbon-carbon hydrogen bond, so the central atom in this case is this one right here. Okay, so um, first of all, we're going to work out the steric number around, I'm just going to call it carbon A. <laughs> okay, um, let's do it like that, carbon A, okay. So the number of bonded atoms is one, two, three, from the carbon-carbon bond, the carbon-hydrogen bond, and the carbon-carbon single bond. So steric number three, no lone pairs, okay. I always like to write that in just so you can see that I've at least thought about them. So the steric number is three. So that corresponds to an electron group geometry of trigonal planar, okay. So that's telling us the arrangement of those three um, of the, the, the things that are around that carbon in three-dimensional space. So the ideal bond angle is going to be 120 degrees. So angle A equals 120 degrees. Now, for this particular exercise, um, it says for advanced students, give the ideal angle. So if you were to look at this, technically, um, angle A is between the single bond carbon-carbon and the single bond carbon-hydrogen. Now, that double carbon-carbon bond is going to compress those other bonds a little bit because a double bond has got twice as many electrons in it so more electron density is going to repel slightly more so i'd expect that angle a to be very slightly less than 120 degrees uh, in the real world but we're not too worried about that for this question okay so the other carbon then we're asked about is carbon b let's switch pens so this one right here so let's count up the steric number so we've got a carbon carbon single bond and then three carbon hydrogen single bonds um so that is a steric number of a total of four bonds and again no lone pairs um so the steric number of four so our electron group geometry is tetrahedral so the ideal bond angle for an electrohedral electrohedral oh my goodness more copy required a tetrahedral electron group geometry is 109.5 and if we look at that one uh you advanced students we're all advanced students right uh, i would not expect any deviations from ideal symmetry uh, based on the fact that they're all carbon uh, single bonds okay 